Hi everybody, welcome. Today we're going to make pulled chicken. And we're going to start off with a basic rub. We're going to start with three cups of paprika. And then next we'll use one and a quarter cup of garlic powder. I like to use dry ingredients when I make my rub. It holds better when you're cooking and it stores for quite a long time. Next we're going to add a half a cup of onion powder and then a quarter cup of black pepper. I like to use the butcher coarse pepper. It gives a lot of flavor in the cooking. Next we're going to add three quarters of a cup of sweet oregano. Give it a nice flavor. And then two tablespoons of dry mustard. And then a quarter cup of celery seed. Nothing like celery seed. After you cook your meat and they pop open in your mouth, it just gives a lot of flavor. And finally, we'll use two tablespoons of salt. We're going to mix this up in a bowl. And you can store this for quite a long time. It'll store for up to a year if you keep it in a airtight container. A Tupperware up in the cupboard. You probably have a shaker, glass shaker, plastic shakers. As long as they can seal shut, they'll be fine. I actually found this shaker in Ikea. They're great. They have a slide top and you can fill it up. You can adjust the top to sprinkle as little or as much of the seasoning as you want onto your meat. And when I do pulled meats, I tend to open it up quite a bit and, and I'm very generous. As you can see, I'm doing that now. I'm being very generous with the rub. Now today we're going to use four whole chickens. I don't prepare the chickens in any way except for cleaning them. Um, I don't brine them. Brining is a great way to prepare chicken or turkey or any kind of fowl. Uh, but no, I'm not going to brine them today. I'm just going to put the rub on them. And as I said earlier, be generous when you put the rub on. I, I tend to put quite a bit on there. It gives a lot of flavor. We're going to smoke these later on. Now, once I finish putting the rub on, I like to let them set up for about an hour. It gives a chance for the spices to just penetrate the skin. I think that's important, just for the flavor. We'll set it aside and we'll continue with the rest of our chickens. The way I started making pulled chicken, uh, a few years back a friend of mine didn't eat pork and I was having pulled pork and he asked if I could make pulled chicken. Of course I said yes. And I experimented a couple of different ways. I pretty much stayed to a real basic recipe, what you're seeing today. And when I finished, the final product was so good, everyone just enjoyed it. Now, I make pulled chicken all the time. We're going to let our chicken set up for about an hour, and then we're going to go outside to the smoker. Today, I'm going to use white oak. I have a charcoal base, and then I use white oak. I use a Weber smoker. Weber is my favorite grill, whether it be the barbecue or the smoker. Um, the one I have here is large. I can do as many as 10 chickens, but we're going to do the four chickens today and we'll set them on the grill. I like to arrange them in a way where uh, they get the optimum amount of smoke and they're not touching each other. Um, as I said, it's uh, a charcoal base, but I use white oak as the wood. There's a pan down at the bottom that you put water in. It keeps the temperature inside the cylinder very cool. And the one thing I do love about a Weber grill is the ventilation system. Once you can set the vents, you can set the temperature. The optimum temperature is 225 degrees. So I set my vent and I did come back and I checked my temperature. It was 225 degrees. This is going to smoke for about three and a half hours. When I came back three and a half hours later, the temperature was still right at 225 degrees and the chickens were golden brown. They were perfect, as you can see. With the Weber, you can actually set your temperature at 225 degrees and walk away for as much as 10 hours, which is great for doing briskets or pulled pork. And 
the temperature will not change. Once you set the vents, you're good to go. Now we're gonna take all of these chickens off the smoker and we'll take them inside the house. As I said, they came out perfect. Three and a half hours, that's the optimum for the chickens. We did four chickens, you can do as many as 10 on this kind of smoker, and it will still take about three and a half hours, as long as your temperature stays at about 225. Now here's the chicken, and as you can see, they're golden brown. Now, I let the chicken set for about two hours for a couple of reasons. One reason is all the fat, all the juices uh, are absorbed back into the meat, which gives it a good flavor. And it, it's also cooling down the meat so that I can actually tear it apart with my hands. I like to take the skin, put it aside. That's where all the flavor is, all the fat is. And then I rip it apart. Now, it's a very tedious process, so we're gonna race right through this as quickly as possible. Um, unlike pulled pork, where there's one bone or maybe two bones. Uh, this is a chicken, lots of little bones. So you wanna make sure you get to all of them very carefully and take them all out. You don't want your friends, your family, people that are eating this to choke on a chicken bone. As I said, it's very tedious, but what I like to do is I like to chop a little bit of the skin in at the very end, and this is what it will look like when you're finished. It has great consistency. It looks quite a bit like the pulled pork when it's shredded up and uh, the flavor is just amazing the mixture of light meat and dark meat is just perfect now I'll add barbecue sauce just before I serve it I'm gonna add about a cup of my regular mild barbecue sauce and then I'll mix it up this will feed about 25 to 30 people and it is really good it'll be a hit at your next party so definitely enjoy it Thanks for being with us. Hope you enjoyed watching as we made our pulled chicken.